टू ओपन अप एन सिस वर्क बेंच विंडोज टेन यूजर्स में फॉलो अप स्टार्ट ऑल एप्स एन सिस एंड वर्क बेंच विंडोज एट यूजर्स में फाइंड वर्क बेंच इन स्टार्ट स्क्रीन एंड विंडोज सेवन यूजर्स में फॉलो अप स्टार्ट ऑल प्रोग्राम एन सिस एंड देन सेलेक्ट वर्क बेंच The files loading may take a while. Wait until all the files are loaded and the licenses are verified. After the necessary files are loaded, the workbench window along with getting started window will be displayed. This getting started window will help you to use the interface of Ansys Workbench effectively. To close this window, click on OK. In the Workbench window, one can create, manage, and view the workflow of entire project created by using standard analysis systems. The Workbench window mainly consists of a title bar at the top, a menu bar, a standard toolbar, project schematic window. tool boxes and a status bar at the bottom now we will deal with them one by one in detail let's start with toolbox window the toolbox window is located on the left in the workbench window it lists the standard and customized templates or the individual analysis components that are used to create projects for creating a project in workbench there are few methods one of the method is drag and drop you can drag any of the analysis system or component system from the toolbox window and drop it into project schematic and it will be generated other method is just double click on any of the analysis systems or component system and it will be generated in project schematic the last method is click right click on project schematic and then from new analysis system component system or customized systems you can use any of this system click on any of the system and it will be generated in project schematic in the project schematic window when you click on drop arrow available at the top right corner a fly out is displayed to close float minimize or maximize or restore the project schematic window for deleting a system from a project schematic you can just right click on name of the system a shortcut menu is displayed in which click on delete it will generate a message box just click on okay and your system is deleted alternatively you can click on drop arrow from shortcut menu you delete and from message box click on okay and your system is deleted the toolbox in workbench version 16 consists of five toolboxes that is analysis system toolbox component system toolbox custom system toolbox design exploration toolbox and external connection systems the external connection systems may not be present in the earlier versions of ansys workbench by default the analysis system is displayed in collapsed state in toolbox window you can just expand it and you will find all the predefined templates for different types of analysis that can be carried out in ansys workbench each predefined template consists of all the components that are used to perform a particular type of analysis for example if i drop static structure in project schematic it contains all the components that are required to carry out static structural analysis we can also prepare an analysis by selecting the individual component systems that are needed to carry out this analysis and then linking them together with connectors i will just show you how to link them 
using connectors so i have created a geometry system now i will create a mechanical model now for linking them together you can just use your mouse to draw a line and this is how you can generate a link between the two systems using a mouse or you can just drag the new system and drop it on the cell of upstream one and link will be generated automatically this is how you link the two models by using draw drag and drop option so a structural a static structural system can be generated by analysis system directly or you can generate it by using individual components and this allows you to add custom templates and provide predefined custom templates such as one way sorry such as one way fsi systems or thermal stress systems you can also create these systems using drag and drop operation context menu operation on cells or individual cell linking these predefined templates are provided as a convenience so we will create one just to show you how to create a custom system so i will create a thermal stress analysis system so drop a steady state thermal and then a static structural and drop it at the solution links will be generated <coughs> the square connector shows that the data is being shared and the round round connector shows that the thermal results are being transferred as a setup or input condition to be used for finite element stress analysis similarly a predefined stress model analysis can also be created so for that a static structural unit and then a model and drop it at the solution so this is how a pre stress model analysis can be created up to this point you may have get familiar with almost all the features of workbench so now let's understand how to save a project in ansys workbench so for saving you may either select save or save as option from file in menu bar or in from standard toolbar you can click on save project or save project as options so just click on file save and then you can change the name of uh, file name um save if you want to move all your project data from one system to another you need to archive all the project related data in a single zip file this zip file will contain all the files and folders necessary to run the project on another system so for archiving a project click on file click on archive now in this uh, window you can uh, the file name of the archive file is defaultly the file name of your project so uh, you can either change it or just keep it at as it is so i'll change it click on save and select optional items to be archived and then click on archive so your project is now saved as an archive file 
which can be transferred to the other system and then restored so now how to export how to extract an archive file click on file click restore archive then here our saved archive file click on that and then select open in save as menu you can just click change the archive file name if you have changed and then save now your project is restored back so this is how you can restore your archive files ansys workbench allows you to change units for your projects so for changing units click on units on the menu bar and here the default unit systems are displayed you can just uh, check on any of the uh, desired systems for your project and uh, keep in mind that default unit systems are neither editable or deletable so uh, you can just customize your own unit system using different units so for uh, customizing unit system click on a unit systems and a window pop up uh, of unit system for uh, customizing uh, you can just duplicate any of the uh, unit, uh, default unit systems and then uh, change uh, units accordingly close it at the end of the tutorial let's understand what different sorts of cell status means